Hi guys, Todd here. Now, if you've been watching my vlogs or you're in my Facebook group or anything like that, you will have seen me flashing this little thing about for a couple of months now. And this is the new Lost Vape Orion. Uh, and it's a pod system. Now, the one I have here is a three milliliter capacity, but the one that I'm going to show you is a two mil capacity one for the UK. And I'm going to make this perfectly clear. UPS has just arrived two minutes ago and I've just opened the box now. I've not even looked inside this. Uh, the reason for this video is it is a quick look and it's something that Lost Vape asked if I would be able to do before. I'm actually away on holiday in a few hours so this is a very very quick look and hopefully will answer some of the questions that I've seen floating about but when I get back from holiday and a few more weeks time I will do an in-depth look at this and, and take you through all the nitty-gritty bells and whistles. Pricing on this is I think in the UK is going to be about the £69 mark and it takes pods but it comes with three pods in the box and a replacement pod will cost you four pounds, but uh, we'll cover all that as we go along. So, close-ups. Now the packaging on this one, it is quite different for Lost Vape. It's not what I'm used to seeing, but uh, we have some bump going on the side here, here, and there's more bump on the back. Inside you will find one device and this is the stainless steel with abalone panel and we'll take that out and have a closer look but just to give you a comparison here is the one that I've had for some time this is a you know we've got a black frame and this is carbon fibre and once again just want to make clear that this is real carbon fibre it's not a sticker or a lookalike kind of job it's the real McCoy. Okay, it looks like we've got uh, one USB charging cable. Now, this device uses the new Evolve Go board, and I do believe from the specifications it's a one amp charge. We also have a Duda and a lanyard. Uh, now, I'm guessing here, I'm sure it'll be in the manual somewhere, but uh, I'm afraid I don't have time to read this. Uh, but I'm kind of guessing that this is just going to go over here. Yeah, well, that'll just. Yeah, that's going to stretch over there, it's a good fit, and then your lanyard will go past through this hole here, so yes, you can hang this thing round your neck. In here you're going to find your other two pods, and uh, you should find that we've got a 0 0.25 and a 5 ohm one, or a 0 0.5 ohm one I should say, and yes, this is the, the 2 mil version, and you can see under here it will actually stay lost vape and this is a stainless steel 0 0.25 ohm coil in here actually so is this one this is a 2.5 0 0.25 as well which means the one that's actually on the device if we just peel this contact strip off here i will bet my bottom dollar that this says 0 0.5 I do like the fact they've got this little sticker on top of this pod that, you know, comes attached to the device, basically saying that, you know, when you fill this with e-liquid, you have to let it sit for five minutes, a minimum of five minutes before you start vaping. You'll also find warranty uh, guidelines in here as well. Got a little pamphlet going on there. And there is a support center for Lost Vape in the UK as well now. We do also have this uh, guidance. This is a quick guide if you like. I like. They've gone to some lengths here to get this bang on. This is basically, I would say, for people that have no experience of vaping whatsoever. And it's covering what replay is and how to prime the coil, why you prime it, how you should prime it. So, you know, they've put a lot of effort into getting that just bang on. We also have a user manual here and there's about seven pages in each language that we have here. And it covers all the lights and, and well, I'll cover that more in a second, exactly how this all works. Before we get into the device, uh, we'll start off with the pod system. And uh, you'll see here we have a drip tip. This is fixed. You cannot remove this drip tip. It is a sealed pod system. And there's nothing you're going to do to get into this unless you get a hot knife and you cut this thing in half. So basically you can see there's the top there. So we've got the fill section and we've got the drip tip. And you can see down here, this is how it kind of all went together. So down the bottom here we have our little coil sits in there below the, the drip tip and on this side where all the juice is uh, you can see that the cotton's coming through from that coil into the bottom half here so it wicks away. The airflow I can have quite a, a, an open 
direct lung. You know, it's got a restriction to it, but you can also just turn this here and you can take it down to what I would consider to be a, quite a loose mouth to lung. In fact, a very loose mouth to lung. So that's your airflow adjustment just there. To fill it, this is a, a little bit stainless steel here. I'm just going to unscrew this there. You can see it's got a little O-ring on it. I'm just going to fill this up with juice. Now it is, it's, it's smoked, but it is, you know, it's relatively easy to see exactly where your fill level is and everything on this device. There's, there's no issues there. Normally I would advise, you know, sitting this down, you know, once that cotton soaks up the juice, you will get some more juice in there. But uh, I'm just going to screw this on just now and put it to one side. But normally I would advise just leaving it for a few minutes, pop a bit more juice in it and then you're good to go. But you can see that you've got your viewing window here. You can see exactly how much juice is going in there. Now the device itself, this has a 950 milliamp hour battery. And if I just take the pod just now, you can see we've got this bit here. So what happens there is that's uh, your release system, if you like. If I move that up and down, you can see that opening and closing there. So you just grab your pod, take your contacts, and just, you know, I'm just popping it in like that at an angle and just click and it goes. Now if you want an idea on size, there is a single 18650 battery, so that gives you an idea on the dimensions for this thing. You are looking at 93 millimeters top to bottom, you're looking about 37 millimeters across here and about 13.5 across the top. It only weighs about 87 grams and yes, that is stainless steel, a stainless steel body on it and this is, once again, this is abalone here or you can get the carbon fibre. The coils are made from stainless steel 316 uh, this is a uh, PC. Uh, this is PC110 uh, that we've got for a material for the pod here, and the actual power output that you have on this board, you are looking at uh, it's 30 watts max, but um, you, you can boost it to 40 watts as well with, uh, with the boost feature. If we turn this over, you'll see we have a firing button here, and we have a select button down the bottom. Now I'll show you this on uh, the one that I've been using just now, but if I fire away, you can see there's a, a light coming on there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, push again, and nothing. So five on, five on. One, two, three, four, five, and we're firing away again. Push the button down here, and, and hopefully this highlights here, but this, you have different colours going on here. Now you can hook this up to eScribe, which is a software suite that um, Evolve actually provide. And for each different color, you get a different power setting. Now it comes with default settings, if you like, and you can actually configure that and you can increase it to whatever you like. I will also point out that if you push the fire button twice, one, two, you'll get a color coming up. That is telling you the charge status of your battery. And we have green for full, orange for medium, yellow for low, and red is, yeah, red you're in trouble. What you can also do when you're vaping away with this thing, so you've got your vaping, uh, you have replay, the same as you have in the DNA 75C and the 250C. So basically you make your selection, you're vaping, you get your vape just bang on, and all you're gonna do is just hold down the select button for a couple of seconds, and you'll see the light goes green, so it maintains that vape the whole time. So you also have replay, and I'll, I'll cover that a bit more once we go back up top. So that really covers the basics for the, the Lost Vape Orion. And uh, once again, this is just a quick look, just to give you an overview. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a tasty little device, this. I'll also point out that uh, yes, you do have a USB charge point. It's down the bottom here, and we'll just pop this off. Boink, there she goes. And yes, you can charge through here and you can also connect to eScribe. Just want to stipulate again that I have been using this device for a couple of months now and it just this second, not long ago, before I started recording this video is when the final retail version arrived. I will point out that the software side may change a little bit, there's, there's little things. I think the battery indicator status, I'm sure Rocky messaged me before this video and said that that had changed as well. Uh, so there's, you know, rather than just four statuses, there might be five statuses, but I'll leave that just now for 
the proper review. This is just a quick look. I mean, what I'll do is I'll just dive into eScribe just now and, and let you get a, a quick look at what you can change. Now, this this is basically eScribe. Uh, I've connected my device up to eScribe. Now, I will point out that this may still change. There may be things that change, and this is just a very, very quick look. Uh, but basically, you have your general display, mod, research tabs up the top. You know, you can download, you'll get updates for the device as and when they're released by Lost Vape or Revolve for the board. But you can see here that we have a DL and an MTL tab. And basically, depending on which pod you're using, because you have the 0 0.25 and the 0 0.5 one, you can specify, you can put in your own custom power settings. So for the mouth to lung, lung one just now, you can see that the colours, we have the white, blue, orange, pink and red, they correspond to what you see when you push the select button. Uh, you're going to get different power settings and you can customise that, you can change it. Also with the replay, you can change the warmth, you can see that it shows the green light when you select replay. You have a boost option as well, so you know when you push the fire button, it doesn't just you know slowly go up to 10 watts. It has a boost as well, so it'll start off at 5 watts. And we, you know, you can go into display. There is no how can I put this? There is no lock color. So when you push the button five times, it just stays black. You know, well not black, but just nothing happens. You don't see anything. Because there's that many colours on the go just now, they just decided to go that way rather than complicate things. You know, for your mod, you have atomizers, you have the DL and the MTL, you know, it's going to recognise it as soon as you connect it. And I, I, everything else I'm going to leave just now because I think for a quick look, that is as much as I want to get into. So even seeing that, you, you know, you get an idea of, of how you can customise this and Whilst this isn't related directly to this mod, that board, the, the Go board is, uh, yeah, I'll see this. I can't wait to see what else happens with this because it's a tiny little thing and the possibilities are <gasps> incredible. Regarding this mod, um, now I have been using quite a clean juice in this. Uh, it's a juice called Lemon Crack. And I do normally get quite a long time from my coils, but, I've been using the 0 0.25 and the 0 0.5 and for on and off for the space of two months and I still get great flavour from both pods. Uh, the longevity on them is quite impressive uh, for the liquid that I am using. So I don't really have any issues in that respect. Um, I will say that the, the flavour comes through loud and proud. I have no issues with that. For a pod system it's actually better than some other pod systems I have tried. The battery life, obviously that's going to depend on which pod you're using and the power setting. Now, it only holds two milliliters of juice. If you've got this on the, the full 15 watts and you're giving it great guns, then yeah, you'll go through the battery and the juice in no time. But if for me, if I've got it on say a mid setting, say 11 watts on the, the 0 0.5 ohm coil, then I will get through a working day with this, no problem at all. But it's it's so dependent on how you vape and how much juice, the nicotine strength you're using. I mean, me personally, I normally vape with three milligram. With this, I use six milligram. And I have also used Nick salts as well, which means that I, I vape with it even less than I normally would. So there's a lot of variables there, but in comparison to other pod systems I've used, the battery life is quite impressive. The actual device itself is, it's not, how can I put this? Right, it's £70, it's £69, which is actually less than I thought it was going to cost. I thought it was going to be closer to 100 because of the materials and just the board in it and yeah, and even seeing the presentation now and everything you get with it, I thought it was going to cost a lot more. Uh, so for for the seven, just say seventy pounds with the three pods, the lanyard, and all the rest of it, I am quite surprised by that. Mainly because it doesn't feel like a cheap mod. It doesn't feel like a, a disposable cheap pod system. It actually, like most of the other Lost Vape stuff, feels like a bit of quality gear. 
I mean, I'm on the 0 0.25 just now. I'm on the lowest setting. I mean, this is only going to be about 8 or 9 watts. And that's just, that would do me fine. For, I was going to say, I mean, I would say, you know, for, for nipping to the shops, uh, for for going out for the night, uh, just for something to stick in a pocket, it's ideal. But I, I can actually vape all day with this quite happily. Uh, it's kind of strange on that one. And I'll cover that more in a proper review. My impressions with it are very good. I do like the replay. Um, so basically, you know, like replay, like on the DNA 75C and so on, you get the vape the way you like it and you just hold down the select button for two seconds, it kicks replay in. So, you know, even if you vape this dry, you're not going to burn the coil out because you're using replay. It will limit that. It'll stop that happening. So, uh, me personally, as soon as I get it vaping the way I want it, I just put replay in and that way I know that I'm not going to dry burn that coil or screw it up. Four pound for a pod. Um, I, do you know, I don't really have an issue with that because, uh, you know, for, for that whole bit there, four pound. Now, I, I used to work in a vape shop for several years and, and I know that, you know, a lot of coils, when you go and buy a coil, can cost as much as four pound. Uh, so considering what you're getting there, I don't really have an issue with that. I know some people get upset about the price of pods, but comparing it to some coils in the market, I don't really have an issue. And once again, the life I'm getting out of this coil is, I'm quite impressed with. I will quickly cover the draw. Now this is it fully open just now and that's a restricted direct lung. And I've popped this up to as high as it'll go on the, the settings that I have, fully open. So yes, you can you can get clouds out of that and you, I'm, I'm getting a nice warm vape from it as well. Turned it down to its lowest settings. I've got the air hole there, just hopefully that shows up as tight as it'll go and Yeah, it's a very, very loose mouth to lung. Even tightened off like that, I would consider it a loose mouth to lung. But that's all I really want to cover, uh, possibly cover more than I think I should have. Um, I want to, once I get back from holiday, I will get a, a true, you know, in-depth review for this device. But uh, the time I've had it, I've liked it. I'll tell you how much I like it. I'm going on holiday for a week and I'm taking both of these with me and it's the only vape gear I'm taking. That's a good sign. I, I will say I'm, I'm unsure of the, the audience that this is marketed towards. I, I don't know. I mean, it's it maybe for uh, somebody that's coming off cigarettes, uh, would they spend £70 on a, a starter kit? Is this a starter kit? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm a bit confused about that one and I'll, and I'll cover that more in the full review. But uh, Thank you to Lost Vape for getting this to me and uh, to you guys, thank you for watching. Full review will be coming and until next time, bye for now. Once again, this is just, I'm sorry, this is actually rushed. Just getting this video out before I go on holiday, but uh, bye for now. To the side of me, you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments to the video below. Cheers.